Surprise! It's Miss Ashley. I'm back again to celebrate with all of you. So happy Easter. Why do we celebrate Easter? I know it's so much fun to play with eggs and dye eggs and hide them and find them and to eat lots of chocolate. But is that really why we celebrate Easter? No, it's not. We celebrate Easter because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. His body was put in the tomb, but he didn't stay there forever, did he? Nope. They rolled it away. His body was gone because he rose up into heaven and he is in heaven making a place for us. So that is why we want to celebrate Easter. So today I have a story for you and it's called an Easter gift for me. All right. You guys ready? Oh, I see some chick, a chick, some flowers, the cross, and a basket full of eggs. And I hope you guys got a basket with some eggs too. All right. Jesus was born a long time ago. God sent him from heaven to live here below. The angels announced, our Savior is born. He sleeps in a manger all cozy and warm. I'm sure you know what the story they're talking about here. They're talking about the Christmas story when Jesus was born. When Jesus grew up, he told everyone, believe in me. I am God's one and only son. He said, follow me and do what I say. Then you can be with me in heaven someday. Jesus told stories while walking through town. The children and grown-ups all gathered around. He healed the sick and gave sight to the blind. He taught everyone to be loving and kind. This is the sad part of the story. But some of the people did not understand the way Jesus fit into God's special plan. He hung on a cross, and that's where he died. The people who loved him just stood there and cried. We have to have a sad part of the story to get the happy good part of the story, right? But Jesus is God, so he didn't stay dead. He's alive, he's alive, the glad angel said. His friends were excited and jumped up and down. They spread the good news as they ran through the town. This story's amazing, and all of it's true. He died on the cross for me and for you. So, while you're eating your chocolate and finding all your eggs today, I hope you remember the true meaning of Easter. All right, so Jesus died on the cross for our sins that's right and he was put in the tomb but was there anything inside when they went to look let's see uh oh <gasps> nothing well that's kind of a disappointing egg right you were expecting something inside but that's okay because jesus rose up into heaven he's not in the tomb he is alive again there was another one that looks like this and so i'm gonna show you this one today so hopefully you have a hole puncher. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hole punch the little circle on the bottom and the top. Ooh, my hole punch doesn't actually make it up to the hole. That's all right. We just need one on the top and one on the bottom. Yeah, not quite where the hole was, but that's right. So, I've got some string here. Anything you've got, string, ribbon, yarn, all that kind of good stuff, as long as it'll fit through there. So, what you're going to do is you're going to want to put it through the hole in the bottom. And I'm going to make a line straight up the paper. And then I'm going to put it in the top hole. So, you see I've got a line right down the middle. And then what I'm going to do... So I'm going to put it through the paper and I'm just going to tie it in the back. So I made my ribbon the whole length of both the front and the back of the paper and I gave myself a little bit extra so I could tie it. All right, so let's see. Tie it in the back. So there we've got the straight line and in the back I've got it tied. But we have something that's missing, right? Also in your packet, you had da -da -da, a cloud and Jesus. And I've cut them both out. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take Jesus and some tape. 
and I'm going to tape him down here at the bottom on my string. Alright. Get my tape ready. You can glue it on the string too, that works. But I'm going to use tape. So now, you can see, now he is on the string. And I'm going to need my cloud. But this part is important. You want to make sure that you only put glue or tape. You're going to put it on this side. And on this side. But guess what? You're not going to put anything on the middle. I know that's tough. I know you want to glue the whole thing. I understand. But Jesus won't be able to get through the cloud if you glue the whole thing. So just do the edges. And then you're going to put it on there. And you can cover up the string when you put the cloud on. And then when it's all finished, you can pull it in the back. And hoping it works right. And pull. Let's take the whole thing. Whoop. My string might have not have been the best. Okay. Anyway, you pull the string and Jesus goes up into heaven, into the cloud. Hopefully yours works a little bit better than mine. I think my string is a little bit too tight. So, hopefully that helped to make sense a little bit. So then you can move him up and down and he can go up into the cloud. All right, everybody. Happy Easter. Bye.